In this tutorial we will show how to do anti-bunching with the SymfoTime 64. So we have three files that contain single traces of uh, vacancy centers, diamond vacancy centers. So we take the first one and open it with the anti-bunching script. So this trace is now loaded and we have a new window that appears. Here we have the parameter panel, here the time trace and here is where the anti-bunching curve will appear. So using the standard settings we can simply correlate sector 1 and 2 and thereby calculate the anti-bunching curve. So now we have a calculation going on. It's a pulsed excitation. That's why the result is basically all these spikes that you can see here and at time 0 you see that the middle spike is missing which is typical for a single emitter. We save the data and go to the next file for comparison. So this is also a point measurement on the nano diamond. We again calculate the anti-bunching curve with the default settings. And we can see once it's calculated that the middle peak here is basically only half of the height of the surrounding peaks which indicates two emitters. We save the results and go to the last file. And again start the anti-bunching script. Correlate. And the result in this case is again an anti-bunching curve, which in this time has a central peak that is almost as high as the other one, so that indicates several emitters. So for better demonstration, I just overlay these uh, three curves just to enhance the differences that you can get and the information that you can get with the anti-bunching measurement. So these data have to be acquired in T2 mode. So here we have basically one emitter, two emitters and more emitter. 